fake good one here, and eventually we will like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, help promote and rank up my channel. I greatly appreciate all the support and comments I get. So, with that said, let's talk about WB and HBO Max and their istinphobe decision to release Wonder Woman uh, on HBO Max, it's a sexist decision to sacrifice this female like this. You wouldn't do it to James Bond. <laughs> Alright, a few things. Wonder Woman 1984 is coming to theaters. Uh, it's coming to theaters and HBO Max December 25th. It's going to be a dual release, what should have been the whole time. I don't know why they kept pushing it back and pushing it back. These films will get dated. And of course, you've got to realize that's the theaters. They, uh, they need a... Uh, uh, they need somebody to give them a helping hand. So this is either the helping hand that theaters need, or it's the final nail in the coffin. At least, at the least, it's an effort, right? Which is more than any other studio seems to be making, other than like Universal with their deal that they've got going with theaters. Uh, Warner Brothers seems like the one trying to put it all on the line. Of course, this is going to be great for their HBO Max service. It's really going to bring in those subscribers, I, I'd imagine so. Um, so a few things about it, though, is that HBO Max and most of the TVs in my house are Roku devices, and you can't really get HBO Max on there without some kind of loophole. Um, and another thing I've heard is that HBO, the only TV in my house that is a Roku, is a 4K TV, and I've heard that you can watch HBO Max in 4K. So I don't know if that's true or not. I'd have to look into it. I don't have HBO Max yet because there's no been no reason for me to get it yet. But this is a reason. However, I do want to try to save theaters. See, theaters have extraordinary safety measures, as Patty Jenkins and Gal Gadot point out in their comments. Uh, there's absolutely no reason to not see it in theaters if you want the theater experience to be around when all this is said and done. And But I don't imagine it will be. This is a big deal. This is them acknowledging that theaters are going to die. They've been begging Hollywood for a bailout, but it's now, with Biden, if Biden is president, if he's going to become president, well, of course, he's going to do stuff to save theaters, to save Hollywood, because they heavily endorsed him. Um, but uh, when it comes down to it, uh, I, I, I'd like to say, I imagine that somebody's going to say, this is an ist and phobe decision. You sacrificed a woman for this. You wouldn't do James Bond. You sacrificed Wonder Woman for this. The... It, look, uh, it's not going to make nearly as much as it would under normal circumstances, no matter what, no matter which film they did, decided to do. But this is probably the best decision because this is a big superhero film, and the first one was great, uh, and a lot of people would be interested in seeing this. But I just imagine a few journalists right now are working on articles to say this was ist and phobe of them to sacrifice Wonder Woman. And I imagine Patty Jenkins is pretty disappointed, this is, despite the fact that she plays it like, oh, uh, uh, we're doing something special for this holiday season, and we want to make a... a I'll give you Gal's comment and Patty Jenkins' comment, but they really wanted this to come to theaters. They, uh, the just theaters, not HBO Max and theaters. But of course, this is a sacrifice being made. It's coming to both those that want to support theaters that aren't terrified of COVID. Get out there and do it. Theaters ha are probably the safest place of all with the safety measures they have in place. Absolutely no reason not to see it. I, for one, want theaters to be around when this is all said and done, even though I hate Hollywood and they make a tremendous amount of prop. Well, I hate celebrities because they're idiots. I, I don't really hate movies and stuff. I love movies. Movies, man, are awesome. TV shows and movies, bet they like to cram politics in it. The past couple of years, it's just gotten overtly woke and all that and in your face. And one concern about this movie is that 
we know there's going to be scenes and stuff at the White House, and, and Gal says something about this movie being so relevant to everything that's going on. So here's her comment, Gal Gadot, uh, Wonder Woman. It's time, and somebody will remind me in the comment section that Gal Gadot said something like, uh, "If you're not a feminist, you're a sexist." Yes, I know all celebrities are idiots. People keep anytime I make a movie because I I talk about this a lot. I talk about how they should put this on HBO Max, how they should stop pushing her back, how they how they should try to put it in theaters at, because it's going to be very dated by the time it releases. But anytime I do, uh, there's been somebody, I don't know if it's the same person or a different person, that I barely get in comments. So you could probably see it on one of my videos in relation to this. Somebody will remind me and they'll have a link to it uh, saying that Gal Gadot said something about ist and phobes. <laughs> Uh, I mean, she said something about if you if you're not a a feminist, you're a sexist uh, or something like that. So it's time we've all waited a long time for this one to come. I can tell you how excited I am for you to see this movie. It wasn't an easy decision, and we never thought we'd have to hold on to the release for such a long time. But COVID rocked all of our worlds. We feel the movie has never been so relevant. That's the comment that concerns me. We hope that'll bring some joy, hope, and love to your hearts. Wonder Woman 1984 is a special one for me, and I can only hope it'll be as special to you. We put our hearts and souls into it, so you can watch it in theaters, and, and it's in big letters. They're doing an amazing job keeping it safe, and they are, I will agree. And you can watch it on HBO Max in your homes. So Patty Jenkins would go, the, the, it's never been so relevant, or whatever she just said, comment, is what concerns me. I, uh, I don't want this to be some kind of preachy movie, and I hope it's not that. So, the time has come. At some point, you have to choose to share any love and joy you have to give over everything else. Um... We love our movie as we love our fans, so we truly hope that our film brings a little bit of joy and reprieve to all of you this holiday season. So, uh, and she talks, of, she also did watch it in theaters in all caps um, and check it out on HBO Max. So, the, they can't keep pushing this back anymore and this is a big thing that they're actually doing this dual release because they recognize now the real danger that theaters are in and they may not be there when the smoke clears that's been obvious and uh, unlike disney they're not going to charge you some some they're not going to charge you some premium price all you have to do is sign up for their service and you have access to the movie. They're not going to charge you $30. And as much as Disney likes to say, oh, oh, that worked out pretty well for us, but we're never going to do it again. That's how well it worked out. Uh, as much as Disney likes to pretend Mulan worked out so well for them, I know they're, they're doing great with subscribers on, on their uh, Disney Plus, but um, yeah, Mulan did not work out for them. It did not. As uh, They can... Pretend all they want, but it it didn't. It, it did not. But they should follow in their footsteps and just go ahead and release Black Widow on Disney Plus because these films are going to get dated. People are going to lose interest, and, and this is the right move. You need to release it on your platform, and you need to release it in theaters. Stop pushing it back because theaters need at least some kind of incentive for people to go to them. They can't just rely on old movies or, or the deal they have with Universal. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on all this stuff. Uh, are you going to see it on HBO Max? Are you going to uh, go see it in theaters? Uh, I, theaters are safe. They really are. Uh, so which one are you going to see it on? Uh, if you're going to see it at all, I don't know if you have any interest. Are you concerned in there that this is going to be, there's going to be preachy stuff in this movie? Are you, uh, uh, do you think that somebody's going to, journalists are going to start writing articles about how this is sexist because this is the one they sacrificed. They, they wouldn't do it to James Bond. This is sexist. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Uh, big good one here. Eventually we will. Like, subscribe. If you do, ring that bell for notifications. I appreciate all the support I get. Uh, 
I've got to get around to doing live stream something I haven't done, but I've got to get a better mic, and I'll, I'll probably be doing that very soon. So stay awesome and rock on.